Don't be shy, cause I, the life won't bring you down too far. Oscar Bevis for AFL TV in association with MTK Global here in Rotherham, pre-bubble with Mr. Lee McGregor. How are you, Lee? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Um, just arrived now, so um, I am feeling good. I know we're here till what fight night Wednesday and Thursday, but you really did go all out. You bought fridge, freezer, Xbox, uh, king size mattress. You bought a lot, in you? No, I'm sorted. Um, I don't need to rely on anything. I've I've covered everything myself. Um, all my food sorted right up until my, my pre-fight meal, so I don't need to rely on the hotel for any food. I've got my Xbox to keep me occupied for the next couple of days, but Netflix and that just chill out. Um, I just I've got everything, so I'm I've, I'm in a good place. I'm ready to go. I was speaking to Sheldon actually, people don't know, one of MTK's media guys, and he said that you look at the matching bubbles as an example. It might seem like everyone's having a laugh in there and it's all good fun, but the box just want to be. If they're contained, they just want to be chilling. They don't yeah. want to be doing all this outside activity. It's chill, it's focus. And a place like this where it's sort of away and it's very relaxed is something that would suit all the fighters. It's ideal for me. Um, it's, it's, what I'm, it's what I'm used to. Like, I've been away loads of times with amateurs, away abroad, stuck in hotels, know very much about. And it's just about chilling out now. All the hard work's done. I'm as fit as I'm ever going to be. Um, I'm not going to get any fitter now. It's just basically just... Let the body get ready for fight night on Wednesday. Um, as I said, all the hard work's done, so chill out, enjoy myself now. Could fans be forgiven? Actually, I'll start it, I'll start it this way. Obviously, he was meant to have the big Hydro yeah. Taylor undercard. He's defending his world titles um, you, with the British and Commonwealth, and it was meant to be sort of the... I don't know, it would have been a massive night for you and a massive night for Scottish boxing. Um, could there be fans who, you know, you, you may forgive them for thinking that now you haven't got a night like that, fans might think we might not get the same Lee McGregor or is this you're going to get a better Lee McGregor because there's pent up anger and you haven't had that night so now you want to take it out on someone 100% um, I'm here now I'm, um, I'm on record so I think everyone will see the best Lee McGregor they've ever seen this is by far the best I've ever trained the best I've ever felt um, I want to just say massive thanks to Dave Stash um, nutritionist who's helped me out um, for the past seven, eight weeks um, with my diet, which is something I've never done before. And the difference has been unbelievable. Everyone will see. Um, normally, day before weigh-ins, I'm a bit drawn in already. I'm, I'm not feeling the best. I'm not in the best of spirits. I just want to get the weigh-in out of the way and I just want to fight. Whereas now, I'm, I'm absolutely fine. I don't feel like I've suffered at all. Um, my, weight's, my weight's perfect. Um, I'm really ready to go and I really think it'll affect my performance in a good way. Um, Performance-wise in the gym, the best I've ever been. Sparring-wise, punching on the bags, pads, everything has been through the roof. It really has. Um, so expect a big performance tomorrow night. Eh, uh, Wednesday night, sorry. And Ryan has actually said um, he wants 100% Lee McGregor. I think he also sort of wants to prove a point to himself that if he's going to step up and fight someone like yourself, he wants to fight the best version of you. So the best you, he says it's going to be the best him. Um he actually could have the makings of a pretty cracking fight. Well, like I've just said, he 100% will get the best, the best Lee McGregor. Uh, there's no, there's not going to be any excuses my way. I've prepared really, really hard. I've left no stone unturned, covered every single area, which is something I've, I've always done. I've always trained with 100% effort. It's just things I've not known and experience and things like that, whereas this time it's just everything has been to a T and been spot on, tracked the right way. Um, and the more I go up in levels, the more you have to do it and cover every single area. And I can honestly say this is the first time I've done that completely to a T and stuck to a plan. And I, as I say, like it's going to be a big performance. And like you say, it could be a decent fight. We don't know much about Ryan Walker, but what I do know is he's coming to win. This is a big, big opportunity for him. Um, this is his could potentially his world title fight. Uh, he can push on now, and if if he gets a win over me, like he's he's right in the mix and pushing on to big things. So massive opportunity for him, but there's no way, there's no way I'm letting him, I'm letting him uh, take take that opportunity. No chance. Let's talk about that 
I don't know, I'm not going to call it a roundabout, but it's just a weird little Twitter exchange that happened. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. he wanted Sonny. He said Sonny was ducking him. Sonny said, come to Superfly. And then I think he you replied and then, five, yeah, and then you said, if you want someone at Bantam, I'm here. He yeah. said he's going to smoke everyone at Bantam, including yourself. So it's sort of, um, yeah. people say, you know, social media can be like a blessing and a curse when it comes to fighting at times. Yeah. But this has made a fight happen. And uh, yeah, it, it was a bit weird at first. So I don't know, what did you just make of it all? Yeah, no, obviously, uh, you just sort of hit the nail on the head there. It, it started off with Sonny Edwards and they had they had beef. I hadn't really heard or known much about Ryan Walker. And like a lot of people know, I'm I'm down for any challenge. I'm I'm wanting to fight anyone who's who's willing to fight me. Um, and I seen that he was obviously calling out Sonny, who is a super flyweight. And if he's wanted Sonny to make bantamweight, why why call out a super flyweight? Like I'm I'm the number one in the UK at Bantamweight. If you want to fight, then then I'm here. And to be fair play him, he's um he stepped up the mark and let's see if he can back his words up um on Wednesday night. Um, I think he will get a shock. He will he will see that the difference in levels um from basically the, the level he's been fighting at, and me now British and Commonwealth champion, and I'm looking I'm looking really to push on to European and world level in the next twelve to eighteen months. I'm going to ask it now because I know it's going to be in the comments and I know you are you sick of it yet are you sick of people because I know you've ent said on Twitter like you'll entertain a rematch and it's a massive fight for Scotland and it does Scottish boxing so much yeah. um, and the first fight was a cracking fight you'd be mad if you didn't want to see it again but do you sort of get a bit irked when people are like you know and even with me going you're going to fight cash again yeah now nah, let's build it up again let's make it another massive fight um, like I've said before I've 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 uh, I've made it clear that um let's go let's let's do the rematch, and what I will say is his chance has been and gone. That was his best best chance to beat me, and he and he did. He came close. People think he maybe nicked it. It was a very close fight, but please please believe me. That was his best chance of beating Lee McGregor. There's no way he's going to get that Lee McGregor ever again. Where the way I've trained and prepared and the knowledge I've picked up in the, in the last, well, the beginning of this year to now. It's just crazy, and there's no way I'll put my body through the things I've done. Um, so away from camera, you you prepare as hard as you can as you always do, and I was I was in the shape of my life for the Cash Farouk fight, but I just done things differently compared to what what I've done now and what I've known, and it's just because I've not known. So now, thankfully, um, there's no way he's he's going to get that Lee McGregor ever again. Like I've just said there, that was his best chance to to beat me, and he came close, but. Next time, let's let's talk. I've not heard, we've not heard anything. We've not had any offers, um, nothing at all. So, let's hope that um, get this one out of the way. Fully focused on this fight, and then we can push on for a big a big future. Hopefully, does it also, like I said, obviously the fact you're both Scottish it helps. It builds that rivalry as well. But it's not the most stacked division bantamweight. It's when it's got two guys like you in it. It's going to build it even more, if that makes sense. I, I know you mentioned about wanting to go to European and world level. Domestically, it's not the most packed division bantamweight. No, definitely not. I feel like, obviously, like you say, I, it's, 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 no, it's no big at all. I feel like myself and Cash are, obviously, I think we've proved it as well. We're two, two of the best, two of the top bantamweights in the UK. Um, probably maybe just above domestic level now. Both want, both want to push on towards European level. So whatever comes my way, whatever my team thinks best for me I'll I'll be willing to do I can make super bantamweight as well I can I'll be strong at that which people will see this week um, so if any opportunities come there as well then, then don't then don't write me off with that either um, I feel like I can definitely jump between the two weights and whatever the best opportunity comes I'll be ready but like you say the, the Farouk rematch is a massive fight that I'm really wanting to, to do Um but like I said, um, if an opportunity comes at super bantamweight as well, then then I wouldn't knock that back. I don't think Farouk and his team will will want to face me at 122 pounds. No chance. I feel like they're obviously their best chance and their best hope is get me down to 118 and and think that's their their best chance. But like I just said, if I am going to go down to 118 for the rematch, I'll be fitter, stronger, and bigger. Trust me. Um, so roll on. We'll see what happens. And I'll just mention this to Gary Carley, actually, who's talking about 135 and 140. If you broaden yourself to more weights, obviously more opportunities. Final thing, um, 
put a prediction on the table for us. I know, obviously, you're going to say Lee McGregor win, but how does Lee McGregor win? Do you stop Ryan, or does it go the distance and you use your, your skill to outclass him? How does it play out? Obviously, the most important thing is one. I don't care how I win, as long as I win. But my honest opinion, I've, in the way I've been performing in the gym, I, I can't see him lasting 10 rounds with me. Whether it be a break him down, um, I don't know how tough he is. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out on Wednesday, but I'm sharp. I could catch him early. Or if he is tough and he is as good as what he's, he said he is and people are saying he is, then we could have a nice tasty little scrap and I feel like I'm break up, break him down towards the end of the fight. Let's have it. Lovely. Cheers, Lee. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, mate.